Hello, welcome to Late Night Creations. My name is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here because today I have a fantastic project. It's not like something I've ever done on this channel before. I videoed some of it outside, some of it has some crazy angles, but hang with me because the result is fantastic. You're going to love it. Also, there's a special announcement you do not want to miss. So hang with me and let's get crafting. Okay, so here I've been collecting the spindles for a while now for this project. And like I said, this is an un unusual project for me to do on my channel, or it's just different than anything I've done before. So this was my inspiration on the left, and this is my finished project on the right, so that you won't get lost on what we're doing here. I started out with these few spindles with this citrus strip spray and I just sprayed these gave them a good healthy coat of this spray because they had that shiny like I call it shellac varnish on them and I'm just wrapping them in some press and seal and I'm going to leave them for about 24 hours mostly just because that's how long it took me to get back to them then I took them outside and here we go with some of those weird angles and I just rinsed them off with the water hose um you could take a little brush and brush in the little crevices, but I could just rub it out with my fingers. I wanted to show you how easy that was. Now, it did not take all the stain off, but I was okay with that. I was really just trying to get that thick, slick varnish off. So here they are. Then after I got them all cleaned off, I kind of sanded that back part down a little bit. Now I'm taking some acrylic paint in the color chocolate sprinkle and I'm just going to put it on and wipe it off when we did this back in the day in the 90s yes I'm that old I used to craft in the 90s and the 80s um, we would do this with white paint and we would call it whitewash so I'm giving this a brown wash I'm taking some chocolate sprinkle I'm just painting it on there not super heavy like I'm trying to give it a full coat of paint, but I'm painting it on there. And then I'm just taking this paper towel. I think that's a paper towel. Or it might be my little piece of um, t-shirt. Because I use a little scrap piece of t-shirt a lot. Okay, next step I'm going to do with this. And this is what makes this so gorgeous, y'all. I take the DIY white wax. And I just put it on a popsicle stick. And I... Put a bunch on there. I started out with just a little bit. Then I decided a little bit wasn't enough. And so I just started smearing a bunch of it on there. Oh my word. I love how this came out. Just wait until you see it all finished. Now, there's a lot of spindles to this project. So I didn't show you every single little detail that I did with all of them. I'll try to explain it just as good as I can but you will get the gist of it. So I just did this all up and down and all around this entire spindle until I was happy with how much it did. And sometimes I would put it on there and kind of let it dry a little bit and then go back and wipe it gently in some places and harder in other places. So, you know, everybody has their own personal preference. Some people will say, oh, I would have left it like this or I, I would have done that. But you do it however you like it. This is This is how I liked it. You know, I didn't, at first it didn't have enough, so I went back and put some more on, but I think it turned out great. I am so blessed to be doing this Christmas collab with these four fantastic ladies. It is a hop instead of a playlist. So when you get finished watching my video, go to the description box below and you will find a link to the Crafting Cousins video. And when you finish watching their video, they will have a link in their description box for the next video and they'll have one for their next video and so on and so forth. Now be sure to watch, keep, continue watching this for the surprise that's coming up. Now this one came off of a ladder back chair and so you see those slits in there and I loved that and so I left it and so I didn't really do a whole lot to this spindle except give it a good sanding to give it a little bit more distressing and cleaned it off and that was pretty much it for this one. I love those slits. 
Okay, here's our next spindle. I took a little trip about an hour away and went and picked up 177 free spindles. They're two different styles, so you'll probably be seeing lots of spindles in the future. Now, I didn't get a lot of stuff recorded on this video because I thought I was hitting record and didn't or vice versa. And so I painted this spindle all white. I gave it one coat of white completely and it covered really good because it was raw wood. And then I went in with three different colors of red. See, I thought I was hitting record but I was hitting stop or I thought I was hitting stop but I hit record vice versa, whatever. But anyway, I just get, did a really, really heavy dry brush on it. And then, see, I'm cleaning up my mess, but I hit record thinking that I was hitting stop. Okay, so then I took my 80 grit sandpaper, and I am just going to do a pretty heavy distress till I get back down to that wood grain in a few places. And it really made a mess and it made my hands really dry too so don't don't look at the mess and the condition of my hands in this video please I've not had time to go get my nails done so just don't look at my hands just look at the just look at the spindles okay next spindle I did not spend a lot of time on each spindle because I figure that you would be able to figure it out and you'll be doing if you decide to paint some spindles you will do them the way that you want to do them. Anyway, so this, I'm pretty sure this is um, Sawmill Gravy by Dixie Bell. And so I gave this one coat of this paint and I love this spindle. Look at this spindle with this spiral on it. It is so gorgeous. Then I took the DIY Dark Wax and I gave it some good dimension. Look how it gets in those crevices, y'all. This is beautiful. This, I don't know, every time I would do one, I'd be like, oh, this one's my favorite. Yeah, I just stayed in here all night one night and just did spindles. So it's funny. I feel like each spindle is a separate DIY in this video. I don't know. But anyway, this was such a different um, type of video for me to do. It really kind of threw me off a little bit. Um, so anyway, I love it though. Okay, here's the surprise. We are giving away a $100 Amazon gift card. Now who could not use $100 with Christmas coming up? All you have to do is watch and comment on each video in this hop to be entered to win. The drawing's gonna take place on Saturday, November the 5th, 2022. So be sure and watch all four videos and comment to be entered to win the $100 Amazon gift card. Okay, the next spindle that we're gonna make is another one of those from the free 177 spindles that I went and got. I'm just using the DIY white wax and I thought this was gonna work out great, but do you see how on that square part it, or the rectangle part, whatever, the, the block part, it, it's a different color almost. It was not um, as porous, and it didn't soak it up. It was more slick. So it didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. So I had this Antique Wax by Waverly, and I had just had a little bit left in the bottle. So once upon a time, I just added a bunch of water to it to kind of create a stain, like just a watery stain. So I'm kind of using it like a watercolor. So I'm just barely dabbing it with that rag. I'm getting a lot on my rag and I'm just kind of barely dabbing it on there to kind of make it look like a stain or a watery kind of a watercolor effect. I don't really know what to call it, but that's kind of in my mind what I feel like. I don't know, it. I, I love it. Okay, here's our next spindle. I didn't really do anything to this. This is where those little crossbars connected to the leg of the chair. And I just kind of sanded over where those are and just sanded down a lot of that stain and I just left that one as is. 
Okay, here's some more I didn't get any video of, but I took it outside. I, pa I spray painted it black and I put a tiny little bit of white wax on it and then I just sanded it down. Um, this was one of those rungs on the back of the chair, like where when you sit, it's on the back of the chair. Um, and I just cut it down. I think this one is really pretty too. Okay. Now, this one is, uh, this one I just caught my eye. So this was given to me. My cousin brought me this little end table that was like mid-century modern. And it was like two-tiered. Um, depending on your age, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. It was two-tiered. And the top tier was a little shorter than the bottom tier and it had this little rail railing on the top tier and so I took it apart and I cut this to be the length that I needed it to be and the minute I saw it I knew because she brought it to me for the spindles because she knew I was collecting spindles and so um so I did one coat of Fawn by Waverly and now I'm just taking some green this is a um, Wise Owl One Hour Enamel paint. I can't remember the color. It's botanical. I think it's something botanical. But I just put it on there, and as I was kind of wiping it off, thinking that I was going to do kind of that same effect I've been doing, it was kind of doing that wet, distressed thing. So I decided I liked it, so I just went went with it. I just started doing it more and more and more. And then I took a dark, little bit different color green. That first green was more of a blue green, had a little bit of a blue base to it. This one has more of a dark green. It's more of a, I think it's Christmas green by Apple Barrel. And so I just dry brushed some on there and then just lightly wiped where I didn't want it if I got too much. And so I really like how this one turned out. This one was really a happy accident, one of those happy accidents. Because this is not how I envisioned it turning out at all. Oh, I guess this is where. It, oh, then I take a little bit of chocolate sprinkle. Chocolate sprinkle by Apple Apple Barrel is one of my favorite browns, and so I just it it does such a it's such a nice uh, deep brown, and I just do a little distressing and just barely wipe it, and I think it turned out really cute. Okay, do you notice that the spindles are getting shorter and shorter as we go up the tree? Okay, here I'm using my Elephant Color by um, Waverly. And the paint was really thick, so it only took one coat. And this was that spindle that I used the um, that citrus stripper on. And it worked really good. It didn't take all the stain color off, but it took that thick, like shiny shellac finish off. Now I'm using white chalk paint to do a heavy dry brush. I love this effect. I love white dry brushing. I love white wash. I'm a shabby chic girl at heart and like a country shabby chic. And we, I used to do a lot of this on my crafts with rag, with a rag, in the 90s. Okay, next spindle. This is one of those little crossbars on the bottom of a chair between the, the legs of the chair. Like, you know, when you're short like me, you put your feet on this part. And I'm just taking that Sawmill Gravy by Dixie Belle and giving it a little dry brush. And then I'm taking my 80 grit sand block and I'm just going to distress it. A couple little places. And I'm always wiping it clean with my little piece of a t-shirt. And there's that one. That was easy peasy. Now this one, that's another one of those that I use the citrus stripper on. And I'm using this blue by Waverly Chalk Paint. And I put it in those little cups because, like my elephant, it gets thick if you don't. So I didn't want the blue to dry out because I don't. I don't use the blue as much. And then, of course, I did not get this part on camera either, so I'm going to try to, sh I'm, I'm trying to recreate it for you here. I'm doing a dry brush with the Aged Gray by Rust-Oleum. Any kind of gray will work. And then I'm going to take my 
t-shirt and kind of do that wet distress thing. Once I figured out that I could do that, I just went to town doing that. And I think that, that this, this might be my favorite one. Of course, I'm very partial to blue, so that might be my favorite one. How many times have I said that about them? About every one. Every one's my favorite. <laughs> Except, okay, so I started out with this one like, oh, I didn't like that color paint. It was too bright. Or it was too dark. It was too yellow. It was too, it wasn't too dark. It was too bright. And then I thought, well, maybe I can just put a little bit on it since I don't have so much paint in my brush. And then I was like, well, let me try this other yellow. Oh, no, that was way too bright. Well, let me see what it looks like on the raw wood. No, okay, let's just wipe it all off. Then I decided I kind of liked how that looked. Let me put some dark DIY wax on it. And I think it looks amazing. It looks old and worn like that paint is just worn off of there. And it turned out amazing. Okay, this, see that ladder back chair over there? That's the one I used one of the, the, the legs off of. And that's going to be the top of our tree. Okay, here I go measuring. Now, measuring and numbers are not my thing. That's where my husband comes in. But at this point in time, it was probably about 1 a.m. And my husband was sound asleep. And I'm out in the craft cottage trying to measure things, finding half of 19 and a quarter. Or, you know, 17 and 3 eighths. <laughs> I don't know. I... Uh, but I just did the best I could, and it turned out fine. I just would trying to find the center because we're going to drill holes right there in the center to put a dowel rod up through to secure our tree tube. I didn't do all the way to the top because my big old head would have been in the way. Now I'm taking some DI dark wax on this poor old worn out t-shirt that's been used all night on this project and I'm gonna just stain this dowel rod so it looks a little darker than just the natural wood. Now I'm gonna choose one of those drill bits that is the same size as this dowel rod, dowel rod so that I can fit it. I can drill those holes. Come on, you guys know what I'm trying to say, don't you? You're probably trying to help me say it right now while you're watching this video. So I drill the hole, I measure it, it works. Now I have this block of wood. This is an old scrap piece that I, actually this came from the dumpster dive when my mom and I did the dumpster dive um, at behind the cabinet shop. I'll have to, I'm gonna have to show y'all that video one of these days. Um, okay, so the dowel rod is gonna stick in here and then I'm going to drill holes in all the spindles. I'll just show you this one that I use, a, that it's really hard to drill them. So I started out with a smaller drill bit and then I take it out and then I put the bigger drill bit in and then it makes it much easier to get that drill bit through. My drill, the battery was, both batteries were fully charged but I just don't have a lot of power. But I have had this drill for probably 10 years. Okay, then I'm going to slide the spindles down on that dowel rod. Now when they all get, when I get all of them slid on there, then I'm going to cut that. I do not show you this on camera. I'm going to cut that dowel rod off. Okay, so now they're all on there. And we're going to put some glue in that hole on our block so that that dowel rod is going to stay in there. This is the super glue wood glue that I get at Dollar Tree and it works great. Now we're going to lift our tree up, we're going to stick that dowel in the hole on our block. Let me scoot it back so you can see. I couldn't get it all in the camera but there it is. Leave me a comment down below and tell me which spindle you love the best.
Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This was fun. I love the result. And remember to be still and know that he is God.